What's up, YouTube? Let's take your personal statement from here to there. This video is not about how to write a personal statement. If that's why you're here, but if you want to find out ways that you can take your personal statement from here to there, listen. What's up, guys? My name is Dr. Safu Asante, the successful IMG. Successful because I matched, and I'm here so that you can as well. The application process is very competitive. Every little thing that you can do to put yourself in a better light is important. This video will be divided into three, three portions. The first portion will be an overview of personal statements. The second point will be what you should try to avoid doing when you write in your personal statement. The third point will be the five different things that will take your personal statement from here to there. So what's a personal statement? It's exactly what the word says. It's a personal statement. It's a it's an essay that you use to let the programs that you're applying to know a little bit about you and to, so that they can build some sort of connection with you. So you're writing about yourself. That said, the number one thing that you should try to avoid doing is don't regurgitate your resume. Talk about experiences in your life. Don't regurgitate your resume. You have your resume in front of them and when you just regurgitate your resume, it makes your personal statement boring. If your, your personal statement is boring, it can hurt you. Number two, do not just talk about program or the specialty. You want them to feel something, to feel connected to you by writing about yourself, your person. So those are the two things that I would advise you to make sure you don't do. The things that you should do, the one, you should give yourself time. The reason why I say give yourself time, you allow the information that you put in your head to marinate. That means that your brain goes over and over and over and over and then you come up with ideas. Oh, I should put this over here. You want to give yourself some time. Number two, very important. Most programs just want you to send a generic personal statement. But some of them, some of them specifically want you to include certain things in your personal statement. So make sure you read the instructions. While this alone might not help you match, it's a surefire way to get yourself kicked out of the run if you show that you cannot even follow simple instructions. When I was applying in 2000, for the 2016 match, I didn't match obviously and then I went into the soap, one of the programs that I did the soap with had something written, something written that they wanted us to include in our essay and I did. I ended up getting an interview with them, It didn't. I didn't end up matching, the soap is competitive, but if I hadn't included that, I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't even have made it to the interview. And maybe that's why I made it to interview. Maybe everybody else didn't read that little instruction. Pay attention to detail. That's number two. Number three, your essence. I'm not going to tell you how to write your personal statement, but I'm going to say this. When you are writing your personal statement, you have to sit down and think about who you really are deep down. Think about your strengths. Think about your experiences that show these strengths and then use that to write your personal statement. That's number three. Number four, review your personal statement. After you've, you've got that first draft, review your personal statement. And I'm gonna tell you how. You've written your personal statement, you read the next two, like next two days, like read the personal statement every day, all right? Then, let it sit for like three days and then read it. And let it sit for another three days and read it again. Okay. And when you're reading it, read it out loud. Read it out loud so that you can get a sense for how it flows. Because sometimes when we write stuff and we don't read it out loud, we don't get a sense for how it flows. So review it initially consistently and then space it out. That allows it, like what I said earlier, it allows you to take the information in, your brain marinates on it, and gives you all these different ideas. Think of your personal statement as like an art that you're doing. 
Not everything is going to come to you instantly. You got to give it time. Your brain is enough. Let's give it enough time to figure out the different things that you can change. And I place this here specifically. Make sure that you get some sample personal statements. And I say now, this is after you've written your personal statement. Don't get it before you write your personal statement. When I was applying and I was writing my personal statement, I spent money. I bought a book that had sample personal statements for me specialty. It was like a first aid book, first aid book that had um, samples. It was a whole bunch of samples. And I read them, right? But you cannot get that first before you write the personal statement. Write your personal statement first, then get the get the book with samples or look for samples anywhere. Number six, take that personal statement that you went over and over again like I told you to and then you read some sample personal statements and then you went over it again. Take that personal statement and then have somebody that's very good at writing personal statements read it. I was lucky. My mother is an English professor. So I gave it to her to like read my personal statement but even though she's an English professor I still kept some of the things that I felt were authentically me so make sure that you have somebody review your personal statement then that's not it send it to your friends send it to all your friends that have matched all your friends that have matched and they have them review it and that's because they have already been through it. They know what the personal statement is supposed to be like. So they, they will review your personal statement. And they might also send you their personal statement. And you can review it and see, wow, he was able to create a hook over here. That's pretty cool. Maybe I can use this experience to create a hook over here. Okay? Now, everything I give you is not like something I'm giving you on a platter. It's something that you have to put into action. But if you put those things into action, I guarantee you, your personal statement will go from here to there oh I, the whole video is going by and I haven't asked you to subscribe and to like the, like the video so you know what you need to do look down below hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell button so that anytime I release a video you will know Dr. Safwa Sante out